Hello, this is Alex Mart, and I want to talk to you today about why I ditch lotions for oils in terms of taking care of my skin and my body. Um, there are many reasons, and if you had told me five years ago that I was going to be a huge proponent of smearing oil on my face, I would have told you you were crazy because I always had very oily, pimple skin, pimple prone, pimple skin, ooh, pimple prone skin, um, and, and just really greasy, oily hair as I saw it, and it felt like a constant battle. My skin was oily, but it was also dry, and I, it was really frustrating and annoying, and I tried tons of different products. We tried Proactive, we tried um, Neutrogena Deep Cleansing little beady things. Um, you know, I did a lot of different things um, to try to help my skin. And what I discovered is that, um, for one, our skin naturally produces oil. If you've ever turned to oil blotters um, to help yourself not be so oily and shiny, you know this. Um, but the reason your skin is producing so many oils, or, or your hair as well, this is often the case, is that soaps and shampoos, detergents essentially, uh, strip your, your, your hair and your skin of their natural oils. And they freak out a little bit because they start to dry. This is why you get dry and oily often together, because your skin starts to literally dry out because oil is what hydrates your skin for a large, for a large part. Um, so it goes into over oil production and then you get really oily skin and you get clogged pores and like all kinds of other nasty stuff. So when you instead start to replenish your skin with oils, it relaxes and goes back into its normal, its normal state of being and can just, and can divert its attention to actually actual skin regeneration and healing rather than just trying to keep up with, with staying hydrated and healthy. So, oils also are non-toxic, right? They're natural. Um, they come from a plant. There are a lot of crazy additives and a lot of chemical synthetic additives in our body products today. And when you start to look those ingredients up, which I dare you to do, look up the ingredients on the back of your shampoo and your lotion you'll probably learn some scary stuff. I know I did, and it really freaked me out. There's a lot, a lot of those are known toxins, uh, meaning they are just, they're bad for our body. They, they clog stuff up. Um, they have all kinds of weird side effects, including cancer. Um, but also they, a lot of them mimic your hormones and can disrupt your hormonal system, which can also lead to outbreaks. Um, it's generally, generally outbreaks on your skin are a, a symptom of too much toxic, toxicity in your body, um, which is very much related to your hormones. So getting onto natural products is a big part of sort of getting your body back into a normal state and keeping your, hormone ba your hormones balanced and your skin really happy. The second awesome thing about using oils on your skin is that it's way cheaper than any, maybe not the cheapest lotions you could find, but please stay away from those, but certainly much, much, much cheaper and affordable than any kind of organic um, natural lotion or creams that you're going to find on the market. Um, it's much cheaper to just go buy a jar of coconut oil or to order, order a bottle of almond oil or jojoba oil off Amazon than it is to go buy a fancy lotion. So you will save yourself a lot of money while you're making your skin feel better than it's ever felt in your entire life. Win, 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 win. Um, that being said, like I really do feel like oils for me do a better job than any of the lotions and creams I used to use ever did. Um, there's all different kinds of oils and lotions. Um, I started by using coconut oil, though I found it to be a bit heavy and greasy, and I wouldn't recommend putting it on your skin. It can clog pores. I now prefer to use sweet almond oil, um, mostly for my skin. Um, I find it to absorb a lot better. A little bit goes a long way, and it really leaves my skin feeling so, so soft. Um, and I'm a big 
I, I really lately have gotten into using jojoba oil for my skin because it um, it absorbs even better and I've actually been blending in essential oils with that which I will share more with you about that later but I've been using that because it absorbs very well and it most closely mimics the oil that your skin produces so if you happen to have kind of dry coarse hair jojoba oil is really amazing for the hair as well the for me the bottom line with the oils is that they aren't when i use oils i don't feel like i'm working against my body anymore i'm actually working with it right when i was using lotions it was always like okay fight the dry skin fight the dry skin fight the pimples and now it's like oh nourish my skin with what i want and what it needs and everything's happier. <laughs> it's magic. Um, but it's not magic. It's not magic at all. And it's incredibly simple. So the last piece of this also for me, and, and this is the reason why I use oils um, rather than synthetic stuff, um, and that I use really, you know, consciously choose the ingredients that are going onto my body, is that I've made health and my body a priority. And my guess is that if you're here watching this video, it's because part of you, I mean, either you have done that already for yourself, or part of you really does want to and just hasn't yet. And for me, doing something as simple as getting an an oil, um, something I feel really good about putting on my body and putting it in my bathroom and doing that daily for myself. Just taking two minutes after your shower, it's the best time, two minutes after your shower to put oil on your body and moisturize your skin, right? They say actions speak louder than words and they do, even to yourself. So when you take that time to do that, you are declaring to yourself, oh, my health, my well-being is a priority. My body is a priority, and I'm taking care of it. And that is a big deal. That is a game changer. And it can be a real tipping point, um, you know, when we're trying to get healthy and feel better in our bodies and, and take better care of ourselves. Sometimes it's the smallest actions um, that can make a really big difference because you show up for yourself. You show up for yourself in a new way. So I invite you to let oils be that new way, be that beautiful, new, amazing way that your skin gets to shine and you get to do that for yourself on a daily basis. It's just so many ways to win. So please post comments and questions. I am just geeking out about all kinds of oils over here, um, including essential oils. I have actually recently started an Etsy store called Alchemist Alex and we just started carrying my favorite cocoa butter skin salve that my partner and I have been making and using for ourselves and giving to all of our friends for um, the last couple of years. I started making this when I was working in the food industry and my hands were just terribly cracked and dry and red and irritated and angry and since then I've started using this every night before bed on my hands, on my elbows, on my knees, um, on my feet and um, when I have eczema that pops up I find this has been really amazing for eczema so you can see it's got all kinds of oils and butters in it to make it super creamy and absorb right in. Um, this is amazing and it smells delicious! Uh, and we have a second we have a second scent up there that's called peppermint evergreen uh, pretty subtle but delicious as well and don't worry there's still cocoa in it so I hope this was whoa I hope this was interesting and um, and helpful please do post your comments and questions I'm happy to answer them and to help you figure out how to get oils and more natural body products into your life so that your skin and your body can really start shining and working in all of its miraculous, glowing, resplendent ways. And I wish you a beautiful, beautiful day.